Hey, in this video I'm going to show you guys how I made this cute little animation using Procreate. Not Procreate Dreams, just good old Procreate. I'll also be sharing some cool tips that I learned while I was animating it. Um, so if you are a beginning animator, uh, hopefully this helps. I wanted to start by just going over some of the key features of the Animation Assist tool in Procreate. So to turn it on, you just go up to the top corner and you'll go down and where it says animation assist, you'll click that slider on and then it'll change your interface to look something like this. And so now you'll see that there are these different frames at the bottom of your screen. So these are all of your animation frames and the way that it works is each layer that you have is going to be a single frame for your animation. So if we go over here and select settings, you'll see there's a bunch of different pop-ups. Um, for the most part, all I use is the frames per second. Um, you can either increase it or decrease it. If you increase it, that's going to make your animation run faster. And then if you decrease it, your animation is going to run a little bit slower. But this will also kind of be dependent on how many um, frames you actually have. So if you feel like your animation is super choppy, um, you can mess with this a little bit or you can draw frames in between to help that. Another thing you can mess with in the settings is the onion layers. So the onion layers is really helpful for seeing your previous couple of drawings while you're drawing your next um, like frame for your animation. Um, I usually only have like one or two um, onion layers turned on but you can turn on as many as you want. And you can also change the color of it so it's not like super distracting. Okay, so now that we've got the basics covered, let's try to animate something. So, I do want to preface this by saying, like, I'm not an animation expert by any means. I am learning animation, very basic animation, just because the, like, drawings and paintings that I do, I think it would be fun to sort of add small animations to them. I just think it's really cool. So yeah, anyway, so I'm still learning, but this is just to show you kind of how I animated this and also like just some things that I learned. So yeah, I'm gonna start by just doing a walking scene. I thought that this would be for the most part the easiest and most fun for me personally. So I have a little witch here that I drew and then she has a little cat with her and I just wanna animate her like walking around. And before I start, I also want to share that I found this resource online that shows like just a basic step by step of like how you would animate somebody walking. I'm going to be using that as a reference. Um, I will leave it on screen for you. Yeah, it was super helpful for this. So if you are also trying to animate someone walking, I highly recommend following something like this. You could also, if you're animating something different and you can find a basic version like this, um, I highly recommend using it to help you out. So I have my first end frame here, and when I look at my little resource, I can see that the very first, the next frame, so the body of the character moves down a little bit and their legs obviously are in different positions. So I'm just paying attention to that, and what I'm going to do to make it easy <laughs> for myself is just duplicate the layer that I already have. And now I'm just going to take that layer, that new layer, and I'm going to move it down slightly. And then I'm going to erase the legs and change the legs. You can see that the arms also move for the base, basic character, but I'm not going to be doing that for this one just because like I have her holding her bag. It's also easier for me. So I'm not going to do anything with her arms, but I will be moving her legs. So I'm just going to erase that on my new layer. And then I'm going to redraw her legs to fit kind of the base model that I'm following. Okay, and so once I have that slide done, I'm going to again duplicate it and set up a new layer and do the same thing. So now I can see that the character starts to move up. So I'm going to do that next and I'll just do continue to do this for each slide. So what I'm doing is just kind of following my resource here and duplicate. I'm not going to redraw everything uh, just because that's a lot of stuff to redraw. I'm just gonna make it easy on myself and the things that need to be changed I will redraw but the things that are gonna basically stay the same um, I'm not gonna mess with. For this animation you'll see I'm only gonna do four frames for it. That's just kind of what I felt like I needed. I felt like once I because I kind of like to check it as I go so you can hit that little play button in the corner and just see how your animation looks. 
if you feel like it's like super choppy you might want to do more frames or like put frames in between where it looks choppy like basically an in-between frame it kind of just depends on what you're animating but for something simple like walking like this like a loop that's what i have found helpful yeah so how many frames you need to do is just depends on what you're doing and also just how smooth you want it to be just i would just hit the play and kind of test it as you go and just see see what you feel like needs to be changed okay so now that we have all of our frames done i will show you the animation again and yeah here it is so this is how you can use procreate to animate yeah let me know in the comments what you're going to animate first don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye